Sneaky here, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. And here I am with little Melba, aka Mimi. Um, and today we're going to get her dressed and talk about what I decided to do um, as far as um, exchanging her, refund, all of that good stuff. But um, yeah, we're going to just do that, and I'm not going to comb her hair. I'm just going to change out the bows. Um, so, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'm going to show you what she's going to be putting on. We're going to go ahead and get her ready for um, bed. I get her ready every night or morning. So, today is Sunday. I've only had her since Thursday, guys, and I did nothing but enjoy her. She's giving me what she's supposed to give. And basically that just means she is not a reborn. She is an Ashton Drake Gallery's doll. And I don't expect for her to be a reborn, meaning, you know, she has heart vinyl. Her painting is not going to be like a reborn. She is truly a toddler doll that I think I would just have fun dressing and combing her hair. And for, you know, doing pictures with her. Now, if you've seen her box opening, you know that she came with quite a bit of um, issues. There was denting. Um, Penny from Lighthearted Life and Collectibles came over and um, she rec ugh, recognized that this joint on her right leg is not um, popping into the, the space it's supposed to pop in. Um, even with her hair... The, the permanent part is um, bulky on one side, like it's not properly glued. Um, around the edges of her hair is like black, not blotchy like sparse, but um, really short and like improperly glued again, like, you know, basically. But even with saying all of that, guys, Ashton Drake knows what they're doing. And what I mean by that is, um, like I said, I got her Thursday. I contacted them Thursday. We talked Thursday. We talked Friday. And um, I haven't heard from them since Friday. Um, but they just basically told me I had the opportunity to get my money back or have her exchanged. And at that time, I told them that I really wanted to exchange her. But um, I don't know if they're not open on the weekends, but I haven't talked to them since Friday. But it's given me the whole weekend to um, enjoy this little girl. And I feel like I can't give her back now, if that makes sense. I haven't talked to Ashton Drake. Uh, Penny uh, made a good suggestion. She said, you know, with the pictures showing the things that she's got going on, if they could give me maybe a discount for her instead of just sending her back. Um, I would really think about doing that, guys. Even if they will not do that, um, I think I'm still not going to send her back. These dolls, like I tell you, um, I get attached really quickly. And it's hard for me to send my dolls away. So, I knew... When um, I took her out of the box, you know, there were issues. I cut the camera off to go over her. But, guys, I still was so very excited to receive her. That's how happy she made me. Um, I was happy to change her. I said, you know what, I'm going to do one changing um, one changing of her. Just put her into some pajamas, and I'll go from there. Then the next morning, I'll put her on an outfit. Then I'll go from there if I want to, you know, send her back. And so when I talked to Ashton Drake, I was like, yes, I want to send her back. And then as soon as I got off the phone, I did her hair again. And it was just that bonding moment of just interacting with her. So interacting is a big part of bonding. And like I told you guys, she's giving what she's supposed to give. I'm not expecting her to be... A reborn toddler versus artistically um, of the realism of painting and um, rooting and all of that she's an Ashton Drake doll and 
I love her for being an Ashton Drake doll. And I love the fact that I can be very interactive with her. I can wipe her down. I can do her hair. I can change her multiple times and not worry about, am I going to mess up my doll? Does that mean that I want to stop reborns? Uh, no. <laughs> and I do want a reborn toddler. But she is also a highlight that I enjoy. And I'm thankful for that because like I said, guys, from the beginning of starting this hobby, I have evolved so much. Certain things that I wouldn't buy, I would totally, totally be down for buying now. And so I just really, really appreciate um, her. And I think Ashton Drake and so many other big companies um, count on people like me who um, don't want the hassle or just you know like you know what maybe I can work with this like I said if they give me um, a discount then um, I will be happy with that but I just do not want to send her back she's perfectly imperfect and so that's also what made me want to keep her guys is because uh, we all have flaws and yes, these are dolls that we pay high money for and we want them to be perfect. But as long as they're perfect in our eyes and um, you guys don't mind me sharing her with you or don't mind the fact that um, she's not a reborn, you know, that's to me, that's the end game. She um, makes me happy and I've enjoyed her this whole weekend. Uh, so I really want to keep her. I just, she's by me all the time and I've stressed this girl, I know maybe five or six times. And also I wait to send her back. I've dressed her. I play with this doll and someone else gets this doll that's defective. Now I'm a customer too, but hopefully they can work with me. Um, but I don't want to use something and then try to send it back. I have been dressing her quite a bit. I'm, I'm just crazy about her. And there's going to be a story that I tell you later attached to her why I decided to keep her. But I'm already seven minutes in. And I just want to go ahead and um, put her night clothes on. But this is what was ultimately the decision why I decided to keep her. Um, and I will tell you about that on another video. But let's go ahead and get Melba dressed. And um, she has this cute little purple two-piece uh, set on right here that I use as her nighttime clothes. She got this on last night and she has the big purple bows. She just looks so cute. So I'm not going to change her hair or anything. We're just going to change her out. And to, it's so cold in my house, so I just feel like I want her to have on something long sleeve and be comfy cozy. So, um, I got her this cute Granimals leggings, and it has, like, flowers all over it. And greens, pinks, purples, creams. Very, very cute. It's like a sage green. And these are leggings, and they are a 3T. Um, and I think they'll work fine for her. And then I got this long sleeve. It's a onesie, but it's a 24-month, and I think she can wear it, guys, because... Yeah, look, I put her on a Care Bear onesie that was six to nine months, and it fit her perfectly. And only because, you know, it snapped in, snapped at the top and not went all the way to the legs, but it fit her perfectly. So she's had on Care Bears and all that good stuff. And I'm just going to, you know, put these two little bows with it. Um, but guys, I absolutely enjoy dressing her. Um, a lot of people say there's difficulty with dressing her. Um... And I find all of it to be very, very um, soothing. And I just like the idea of being able to dress her so many times. I already came up with some ideas for her for fall. And guys, she's just going to wear these white socks. It's 12 to 24 months. She needs a bigger size. These barely, these, these was the ultimate fit. <laughs> so, um... She helps mommy get her dressed. But, um, yeah, she's been such a joy to dress and so soothing. Um, 
and I just really I, I appreciate that. There we go. Um, but I just enjoy her, and I enjoy and appreciate that um, she doesn't have to be a reborn for me to enjoy her. And um, it actually makes me excited, guys, because, um, and as you can see, like, this joint is messed up. It makes her, I don't know if you can see on here, but it, it just, they're very close together, and that joint is not catching. But I, I was like, you know what? I won't bend her legs as much. I'll just sit her a certain way. So... Every time I was trying to make the decision to send her back, I will find a way to keep her with the flaws that she has. Um, and I hope you join me, guys, when um, I make that video and listen to why I decided to keep her. And that video will be imperfectly perfect. And um, she fits that to a T, I feel. And um, I really appreciate so much all the comments I got and the help and the insight. It really meant a lot that um, you guys gave me um, some advice on what I should do. And um, I appreciate that so, so much. Um, Penny, um, if you haven't been over to her channel yet, she came over Friday and I spent the whole day with Penny. I didn't get on YouTube until four o'clock this morning. <laughs> See, these were the perfect. Oh my goodness, girl, you are just a sweetheart. So I got to answer, um, reply back to everybody early this morning. Um, after me and um, Penny's Days of Adventures, uh-oh, I forgot she has on a, she's going to have a onesie. But after me and Penny's um, Adventures, guys, guys, I was in so much pain and I didn't really, I didn't do anything. We just did a video. I was standing here, which I'm not supposed to, I'm standing now, but, um, come on, there you go. Um. I, when Penny left, I took a shower and crawled into the bed, and um, that was my weekend, basically, and then my hubby surprised me yesterday with a special day, and we just really enjoyed each other, so we didn't have any, that much interaction with our phones and things like that, so, um, I wish this wasn't a onesie, but but just because I don't, I wish it was just a plain shirt, but I didn't have to snap. But um, we enjoyed our Saturday together and um, just had a really good time. And uh, I just, guys, you just do not know how I really enjoy Penny so much. We had lunch. We just just talked and just had a great time and talked about the babies that's coming um if you do not know um we are expecting full body silicones to be here very soon and we were so excited about that see look how cute this girl is guys you can't tell me that i didn't bring her brush but look at her i changed that bow out too but look at her. She is so sweet. I guess I'll go ahead and snap her at the bottom. Guys, I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely adore changing her. Like, it's been so fun. Every day I get so excited. I Honestly, guys, like I told you, I've changed this baby. This is probably my sixth or seventh time changing her since she's been home Thursday because she has so many cute outfits and, um, I'll change her twice a day. I'll get her ready for the day, and then I'll get her ready for bed. It's just, I have enjoyed doing that. So, see, this 20, now that I know this 24 month will be big, but it doesn't matter because, you know, she's going to have her little leggings on. These leggings are the cute. I'm going to get some more of these. These are the cutest. 
Okay, mama. Oopsie, her little leg. But we'll, we'll work with it, won't we, girl? We will work with it. Turn around to your aunties. Gosh, she is so cute. I mean, like I told you, she was giving me what she was supposed to give. Even after noticing all of that going on, you would have thought I would have been so upset and just so ups like frustrated that I'll have to go through this whole process. Guys, I was still happy to get her. And um, I'm thinking about getting her some clip-on earrings instead of trying to find a way to poke a hole in her ears because she is hard vinyl. Oh, look at her. Guys, isn't she just so sweet? Oh my goodness, she's a big girl. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And let me know what you think. Would you have kept her? Or, you know, exchange is really the big thing where everybody was saying exchange her. Um, but she's gotten home and I've taken her out of the box. I've bonded. It. It's like, this is Melba. Like, <laughs> I get another doll and that's not going to be Melba. So, AKA Mimi. So you can call her guys Melba or Mimi. And I can't wait to tell you more in detail about who she's, her namesake and why I named her Melba and um, why I decided to keep her as well. So guys, this is my time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm gonna try my very best to learn ways to um, work with the camera to dress her because she's gonna be so fun to dress, guys. Like I've already got so many ideas for her for fall. So I'm just, I can't wait for that. So guys, we will see you on the next video. Bye.